Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. And as James and I said in the last video, we've been really quiet for quite a long time. And this is why. Welcome to our new site in Dartford, Kent. I'm joined today by our m and &E manager, Callum, who's gonna tell you a little bit about himself and what he does. Hi, I'm Callum. I'm the uh, m and &E manager here at Custodian. My growing team and I in the m and &E team have been working hard on the cooling and power, etc., down at Maidstone. We've also been heavily involved in the new exciting build here up in Dartford. So yeah, yeah, thank you for having me. Excellent, right, let's go and show you how to build a data set, guys. So guys, welcome to DA2, Custodian's new data center. So this data center has a capacity of 800 racks and to be honest, I've been involved in some of the technical stuff but Callum has been working behind the scenes to make all this come to what it is at the moment. So I'm gonna let Callum talk about the technical specs, it power, cooling the lot. So Callum, take it away. So we've got 800 racks. Um, we're on a two and a half thousand square meter plot. We've got 10 megawatt of power, so massive power compared to Maidstone. And we're really excited to show you. So let's go. Here we are, phase one, um, we've got three data halls to my left and we'll be following on with another video eventually for the data halls that will be coming to the right which will be phase two. Um, let's go for a walk and Ash can tell you more about it. I can indeed, so just on your right, but my left, we've got a suite that is 100 racks. So this is 100 racks split over four rows and as you can see, as we get to this doorway, it's huge, huge doorway. So. This is the same size as Maidstone State Floor 1 and this height of door allows us to roll racks in that are fully populated, ready to go. Yeah, obviously a uh, fully populated rack means we're going to be bringing quite a lot of power here, 100 racks as Ash said. Um, so we are looking at 400 kilowatts of cooling in here, 300 kilowatts of power. Uh, each hall is an enclosed hot aisle, whereas at Maidstone obviously we're an enclosed cold aisle. What that means is we take all the hot air up through a central duct, um, up into the mezzanine above, which we'll show you in a moment. And the mez is a three meter wide duct, two meters tall, so massive scale, 30 meters cubed a second running through there. Goes round the back through a giant cold wall at the end, made up of four coils, 133 kilowatt each. So N plus one on the coils, redundancy. Comes through the outside, through the kit and back up. So it's, it's a closed cycle with ultra free cooling chillers. Um, yeah, it's really exciting stuff. Definitely, and as, as Callum said at the start, we've got three suites in phase one. So we're actually gonna show you the third one, which is very niche, very bespoke. So we're gonna show you a bit of what it looks like inside and then we'll meet you in there. Stay tuned. So guys, here we are in the 50 rack footprint Callum was saying about earlier. So although it's a 50 rack footprint, the customer's only gonna be putting 30 racks in. Comparison, 30 racks, 100 racks. So I'm just gonna let Callum tell you the technical specs. So next door, we were talking 300 kilowatt power. We're talking 400 kilowatt alone in this pod, 530 kilowatt of cooling. Um, we've been working really closely with our CFD partners on this. So we've done computer fluid dynamic modeling of exactly where the airflow is going to go to ensure that we get maximum efficiency and keep that all important PUE down. Definitely, and of course it's all well and good talking about the massive power and cooling requirements, but why don't we go upstairs and actually show you what's going to happen and how it's all going to work. Let's go. So 
So here we are guys on top of the mezzanine floor, which is directly above the data wolf we were just in. And this is where all the delivery of the cooling, the power, all the data cabling, it's all gonna live up here, out of sight, out of mind for our clients. So there's, there's a lot going on up here, as you're about to find out. Yeah, we've got over 600 meters of basket up here, separated. So racetrack runs all the way around the data center uh, and down each aisle. So we've got diverse routes for copper and fiber wherever we need to get it in the day centre. Um, we've also got 600 mil tray which carries all the lighting cable uh, and all the cleaner sockets etc. So that's really just the, the workings of it. Yeah. Running either side of the ducts of course, which is where our massive airflow comes through up onto the mezzanine. Yeah. And obviously we've got the segregation of, of data cables. So we've got a basket for copper, a basket for fibre, and this big basket, as Callum just said, is the 600 mil power stuff um, which will deliver lighting and utilities to the, to the data halls so I suppose the next time you see this it'll be full of duct work, cables and engineers so yeah we're gonna get busy oh it'll be busy all right yeah we'll have to show you what it's done it's gonna look awesome so here we are in the ATS room um, this is ATS for phase one so we've got the A feed and B feed here that will be a wall through the middle just behind my right shoulder there um, we've got two diverse 11 kVA supplies coming in to two megawatt transformers, cast resin transformers, one over there behind yourselves, one over here behind me. Feeds into the ATS, UPS is sitting in front of it, battery stored in front of them, and um, yeah, it's, it's really exciting in here. Ash can tell you a little bit about the technical team's preparations for it. Yeah, so over the last few weeks and in the upcoming months, the technical team are undergoing training at our vendors' facilities up north, so they'll be learning about all the ATSs, the UPSs, response times, how to actually deal with faults and stuff, so that when everything gets installed here, we know what to do, we don't have to do anything else. All the train documentation is handled, and we'll be able to respond to anything on site with our technical team here. So, yeah, just a glimpse into one of the ATS rooms. So back on the mess guys, and I just wanted to show you the scale of phase two compared to phase one. So phase two will be in this space here, huge. So we've got one data hall here, 128 racks, and next to it, 256. That's a lot of racks. And this guy has to deal with the power and cooling for it, so. Wish but me luck. <laughs> So as I spoke about our um, two 11 kVA supplies, this is actually the existing supply to the building at the moment. We're keeping it for now while we do the build and then this will be cut off and capped and our two new supplies will then be the main supply to the building. Bit of an update on the build so far. We've got the phase one yeah. mez in. Uh, we've got all the window linings in. We've got door frames going in. Most of the walls are up and dry lined. We've got the plastering started. Next big milestones are the actual doors going in, uh, and then it's the power infrastructure and the cooling. So yeah, it's getting there. So guys, thank you for tuning into episode one of House Builder Data Center. You've seen our new site here in Dartford. So more than ever is like hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, like, share the video, do whatever you need to do because we will be back with more. See you soon.